just can't hold it back no more. Okay, since, before I get started, since this is my first time filming, I'm still getting used to this whole lighting and um, recording and focusing stuff, so bear with me, but I'm sure as I, you know, get used to this, I'll become a-okay. So to get started, I'm going to moisturize my face. I have absolutely nothing on my face. I am completely bare skin right now. I just washed my face with the uh, morning cleanser from Clean and Clear. The blue one, it's amazing! So I'm going to start off with the Clinique Moisture Surge. Phenomenal. And I'm going to apply that on my face. Let me zoom out a little bit. I have oily skin, so I don't like to put anything that's cream. I find that if you put a lot of cream, like heavy lotion on your face before, you know, putting the highlight, contour, cream products, your face is going to feel a little bit heavy, not cakey, I don't like the word cakey, it's a little heavy, and you look cakey if you don't know how to blend, but it feels a little heavy and technically I don't like feeling like I have a lot on, even though I look like I do, but this gel, uh, wearing gel moisturizer helps feeling but if you have dry skin, you can use, um, I mean, you can just put on your lotion a little bit before you apply your makeup application. I'm sure it'll sink in a little better. But otherwise, stick to the chin. Now, for today I'm using MAC Studio Fix Fluid. MAC Studio Fix Fluid. I am NC25. And I'm just going to put that all over my face. I usually do like warm pump for like the side. I'll zoom in so you guys can see. Now, I have some pinkness in my skin. I have vitiligo, like right over here. I don't know if you guys can tell. So I tend to get a lot of redness in my skin. Um, but the rest of my body has like yellow undertones. So I like to match this and, and C25 is really yellow, which <laughs> So I'll just be buffing that in my face. Now the brush I'm using is a Real Techniques, the signature Chapman. It is a buffing brush. This is my all-time favorite foundation brush ever. I don't know. I just feel like it really buffs into the skin. I'm sure a flat top Kabuki or any brush that has synthetic that has a flat synthetic, um, I'll show you. No flat synthetic. I'm sure it'll work just as fine, but you want to make sure you're buffing it. Now, I love the Beauty Blender. I do love the Beauty Blender, but I feel like this just buffs it in so well. I don't know. I just love it. So we're on to the con the highlight part. Now, my favorite highlight um, concealers are the Age Rewind, and I use two. The one that I use first is in light pale, which is this one you can see I'm running out. And the second one I use is the Age Rewind Brightener. This is an illuminator. It has a little bit of pink, so I like that. You know, when it's uh, this has a little bit yellow and this has a little bit pink. So when you put them together, you're getting the yellow to get like take away the dark circles. I don't really have that much dark circles, but let's pretend. And the pink um, makes it look really nice and bright. So you get that really kid K. We're gonna do a nice V shape like that. And what I love about this product is that it's so not heavy. And I get a little crazy with this sometimes. A little bit over your nose. But since it's so like light, but it does the, co the coverage, it works. A little, something like that. <laughs> and then just a tribal, you know. Now I was thinking of going on a Halloween like this, but I was like, you know what, let's not. Oh, and a little bit to cover up my redness. That's first. And then without buffing it yet, I'm gonna grab the brightener. And just do like three strokes on each side. A little bit 
I do a little bit, a little bit less than I do with the other one, just because um, I don't want too much pink product on my face. I'm a little scared of the redness and accentuating pinkness. So in the brush that I'm going to use to buff this out, it is the Sculpting Brush by Real Techniques. Now, a lot of people like to use a beauty blender for it, but for this. But um, sometimes I feel the beauty blender takes away the product. And yes, it's wet, I know, but I don't know. I just feel like this, since you're buffing it, you have so much control to be lighter and like, you know, keep the product on. So you want to start off very lightly here. Circular motions, when you do, if you're, I don't want you to dab, because then you're going to leave the stipple marks on it, and you don't want to wipe, you want to really lightly circle. And very lightly, not like, but like, barely touching it. Hold up, I need a mirror. Mind my face that I'm doing, I'm like, Kim K! I just want to show you that it literally leaves, like it's just like perfectly blended, nothing was taken away. It's just like, the other side. Now, the point, I mean, the reason why, um, the point of the foundation part and the concealer is to basically, you want to think of it as like painting a canvas. It's the point of foundation is to blank out and even out your skin tone and complexion. Now, a lot of people get scared of foundation because they think it's like going to be like heavy, but you don't, there's so many foundations out there that are so lightweight and just amazing. Um, it's just like. You just need to find the right one. There's so many out there on the market that are so good. And I'll list my favorite foundations in another video. But don't be afraid of foundation, trust me. Now the two products I'm going to use to contour is Sonia Kashuk in Rich Bronze and the Bobbi Brown yeah. Almond And the brush that I'm using to carve out is the Sony Kashuk, obviously. <laughs> and the pointed foundation brush. Now, I'm not going to use this to buff this out because that will be a streak mess. I'm just using this to um, put the product on there. And there's three little lines going upward. A little bit down the nose. Could you imagine going on a date like this, like wet, and just a little bit on the sides of my temples? Now I'm going to go in with Almond from Bobbi Brown. Look in the mirror. Just 
just on my cheeks though I'm going. Now you may think this is a lot of product, but I like my cheeks to look really, 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 really defined. Keep in mind this highlight and contour routine is not for every day. This is for a special event like day out. I, like, I just love my cheeks to look extra defined. We are going to powder. The brush I'm using is a Smashbox powder brush that came in a limited edition sale. And the powder I'm using, of course, is the contour kit. <laughs> now, I'm using banana. Just a little bit. I'm just going under the dye. Same on the other hand. We're on the other side, I mean, wow. And basically on all the parts that you highlighted. To contour, I'm going to be using, um, the brush I'll be using first, I use two, two brushes. The first brush to apply it with, wow, it's actually really cool. To apply it is um, the Sephora, Pro Contour Brush number 74. It's amazing. And then I'm using a crown brush. It's just a contour brush. It's really good. I have noticed that I actually go to this one to um, lightly contour with every day. It has, because if you look at the difference between three, this one to me is a little bit gray, and this one to me is a little bit too orange. So it's going to be too harsh when you apply it. On the other hand, when you apply this, it has the mixture between both. So it's not gonna look too harsh and too orange, but too gray. So you have control of how much you want to apply it. So I'm gonna lightly grab on a little bit of that. Just that much amount, not too much. And then very lightly, you always, when you first apply um, a product on the brush, you have the most product when you dip it in. So you don't wanna start here because then you're gonna have the most here most uh, product here. You want to start back here and then lightly blend forward. That way you have, um, you know, the darkness fade into lightness. We're going to grab a little bit of this. I like to smile and put them on the apples of my cheeks because that's where you know, you just glow automatically. I like to feather off a little bit on the tip of my nose. Above my lip. And on my chin. All right guys, so this is my highlight and contour. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys like this, please follow me, subscribe to my channel. I will be posting a lot more videos. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.